okay? Hi, my name's Hannah. And I'm Tom. And we're here to talk to you about something that we did this summer. We made a little project. And what did we work on? We worked on the Raspberry Pi. What's a Raspberry Pi? It's a little computer. Show me. It's a computer and it fits into this box. It's about the size of a deck of cards. It's tiny. It's Are you really sure it's a computer? Tiny. Yes, it's a computer. Hmm. It's just really tiny. And what can you do with that little tiny computer that fits in this you little box? You can use here? it as a computer. Uh -huh. You can pro program. You can make you can put games on it to play. You can even program your own game. Hmm, that sounds kind of cool. Did we program any games? No. No? What did we do with it? What was our project? Making an echo. An echo? Like when you say, hello, and then I say, hello, like that? No. What's an echo? An echo is an Alexa. What is an Alexa? The an Amazon Alexa, right? An Alexa is a big tube. Mm hmm. And you can ask it, and like you ask it questions, it will answer them. It has games that you can download on it and play them. Then, and, and you could even put your own games on it. Mm, we could. We could make our own games for it too. They're skills. Mm -hmm. So, how did we make? Our Amazon Echo on a Raspberry Pi. Can we do that? Yes. How did we yes. do it? How did we? What did we do with the? What did we do with the Pi when we first got it in the box? What did we do when it came in the box? We took it out of the box mm -hmm. and made sure we had all of the pieces. Okay. What were the two pieces that we needed to put on it? We needed to put on the heat sinks. And the heat sinks. And what did the heat sinks do? The heat sinks keep it from getting too hot because it could get too hot to stop working or it could even burn it could burn it'd be very hot wouldn't it mm -hmm. all right after you put on the heat sinks then what did you do with it i put we hooked up everything and put the cords in what kind of what do the cords go to the cords go to the the cords go to the keyboard and what else and the mouse and what else and the speaker and what else? The heat sink. Well, no, there's no cords to the heat oh. sinks. What about the big square thing? The... Well, we watched it on. The TV. Well, that's right. We needed a monitor to it. So after we hooked all that stuff up, what did we do then? We put in the nuke yeah. and installed the Raspberry operating system. Now, after you had the operating system fully installed, then what did we do? We put on the command system. Pseudo. No, we had to type in the pseudo because what were we doing when we were using pseudo? We were programming. We had to program the command system. Well, we had to program the commands for we had Alexa. We program the commands for Alexa. We did. did. Was that short or did it take a lot of typing? It, take, it took a lot of typing. It took a lot of typing because the first time we did it, what we did is we followed the instructions that are on the Amazon GitHub repository. And you can set up your echo using all those commands. And when you're done, you got a little GUI that you press a little button on the screen and you can talk to it and it launches Alexa. But what happened? We fried it. You, we didn't fry it. I fried it. We fried it. it. I went to hook up a button. And then when I hooked up the button, I hooked it up to the wrong jumpers. And what happened when I hooked it up? And you fried it. I fried it. So we had to start all over again. I had to start all over again. And you this time. You should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. And what we did now is the second time that we did it, we needed to hook up a button. What kind of a button is it? It's the button that you press to make it work. It looks like this. That's a huge you button. You press it and talk to it. And then you would wait for it to answer, then it would answer you. So what we did is we followed the instructions from Nova Spirit Tech. I'll put the link down below so that we can actually hook up a cool red button like this to our Alexa. And this time, instead of having to use a keyboard and a mouse to press it, what do you do? You just push the button down. All right. And after I got that done so that we wouldn't fry it again, what did you tell me to do? Back it up. We, we made a backup. 
We made a backup. And how do we make a backup? Go ahead, go get it. You take the, this book. We'll show them the book. Okay. What's it called? Adventures in Raspberry Pi. It's for kids. And what page should we have to go to? 24 and 25. We went to 24 and 25, and Hannah made me do and a back. And we have to. And we backed up an SD card. So that all the work that we did was backed up so we wouldn't have to start over from scratch again. Then after we got that done and we made a backup, we hooked up the button and we tested it. And did it work? Yes. What did it do when we hooked it up? The, it said hello. Don't do that. It said hello. And then what? Did we ask you some questions? We asked you some questions. And did, it, did it answer the questions? Yes. All right. So then when we got all that set up, we knew it worked. We had a backup so we wouldn't have to do that again. What did we do then? We bought a cigar box to keep it in. Mm-hmm. We got a cigar, cigar box to keep it in. Is it a cool cigar box? Yeah. Mm. Does it work in the cigar box? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we, put, we drilled some holes in it so that we could hook up this cool button, which we're going to show you in a little bit. And... Now, what do you have? You have your own? I have, now I have my own Raspberry Pi Echo to keep in my room. Uh-huh, and we can use it to listen to what, music? To, we can use it to listen to music, I can ask it questions. You can use it to set an alarm. I can use it to set an alarm. So you're not late for gymnastics. Or, or for swimming. Or for swimming. Or school when or, school starts Or up. school. Yeah. Or daycare. Or anything like that. Or anything. Well, now, do you want to show them what the Alexa looks like? Yes. All right, cool. We'll be right back. Here's the cigar box that we put it in. And here's the, ra and here's the button you press to talk to it. And what's that right over there? And these are the speakers that... It talks out of. So here. Now let's take a look on the inside. All right, let's open it up. Let's hold on. Let me let me get in there first. Let me take a good picture of everything. All right. So how about you tell me what we got in there? Here's the breadboard. Mm-hmm. And here's the Raspberry Pi. And here are the cords that connect to the button. All right. Here's the cable that connects the breadboard and the Raspberry Pi together. All right. I'm going to take a video of the inside here so you can see the buttons flashing and seeing what's going on. Now, this thing is not going to work like a normal Amazon Echo where you get instantaneous results because the way that we have to implement this using a Raspberry Pi is it has to record your voice and then send it over. So there's a little bit of a delay. And you can see there we have the green speaker wire, and the other one is a micro USB cable for the power. There you go. Good job. All right, so how about you give it a test, okay? Okay. Okay. What is your name? My name is Alexa. Say, what are you? What are you? I'm Amazon's Alexa, designed around your voice. I can provide information, news, weather, and more. Now, here I'm going to focus in on the button so we can see that. Uh, ask her what a pie is. What is a raspberry pie? The raspberry pie is a series of credit card-sized single board computers developed in the United Kingdom by the Raspberry Pi Foundation with the intent to promote the teaching of basic computer science in schools in developing countries. What is the weather like in Rock Hill, South Carolina today? Currently, in Rock Hill, South Carolina, it's 89 degrees with partly sunny skies. Tonight... You can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 67 degrees. Now this is all done by that little USB microphone right there. We have a bunch of holes in the top and in the bottom so the sound can carry when we have the door closed. How about a joke? Tell me a joke. Why do elephants paint their toenails red? To hide in cherry trees. 
It's ridiculous. All right. Well, thank you, Hannah. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed watching the video about the Raspberry Pi. All right, cool. So I'm um, glad you liked our little walkthrough of the Raspberry Pi Alexa that we made over there. It's going to stay in that nice fancy cigar box with a big red button on top of it in her room so she can use it. What are you going to use it for? Alarms, playing Alarm. music, asking it questions. Maybe a couple good jokes. Some jokes, some riddles. Some riddles. We could do a lot of things. We can control our lights with it. I want to control my lights. You better not be controlling the lights in our bedroom downstairs from up here. <laughs> Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be controlling That's them. That's not going to be good. How old are you? Seven. Seven, and she can actually program on a Raspberry Pi. So if she can do it and I and can do it, anybody. Anyone can do it. And it's super easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include all the links to everything I talked about, to the Raspberry Pi, to the instructions for the Alexa. I'm going to put it right down here. You see, that's where I'm, I'm putting them right there. Don't forget to like the video and remember, smart is the new cool. That's right. If you think smart is the new cool, like the video down here. Now what are we going to do next? We're going to program some games on it. We're going to program some games. So we're going to get another Raspberry Pi. And, and we're, we're going to program some games. All right, so you might see another video with some games. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.